Welcome. S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management can support you with the storage of hazardous substances. In the put away checks, you can activate hazardous substance checks, allowing the system to direct the put away of hazardous substances in the warehouse according to the hazardous substances properties. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Let us first look at some of the benefits of inbound handling of hazardous substances. Secure that hazardous goods are stored according to their storage requirements. Ensure that hazardous goods are stored separately from other substances. Secure that security and GXP requirements are met. Before we run our demo, let's have a look at hazardous goods. Hazardous goods are substances that can pose a danger to humans, animals, or the environment when being handled or stored. The handling and storage of hazardous substances are governed by law, making it mandatory for warehouses to have dangerous goods storage locations. The materials are hazardous in nature as defined by globally accepted hazardous categories, flammable, explosive, corrosive, etc. The materials may have other storage requirements due to the nature of the material and or regulatory requirements. Examples include materials requiring some level of temperature control or controlled materials such as narcotics. In these cases, we must keep the material in the appropriate refrigerator or freezer storage, or for narcotics, keep them in a locked area. We will use material F100 in our demo. Looking at its storage master data, we can see that it has been marked as hazardous. Opening up the Maintain Hazardous Substance Data app, we can see the country origin and region. The Hazard Rating 1 and Hazard Rating 2 contains the values, WGK3 and 6.1B. WGK3 tells us that the product can cause a severe hazard to water. 6.1B that it is a non-flammable toxic substance. We can specify the correct storage type for this combination of hazardous ratings in the system configuration, securing it will be put away in an appropriate storage location. It's time for the demo. We have already had a look at the relevant master data, so instead, we will kick off by creating a purchase order. We will create the subsequent inbound delivery, then use the handheld RF device for unloading, goods receipt and put away. We can, in parallel, monitor the action in the warehouse monitor. We quickly create a purchase order for 100 liters of F100 with immediate delivery. We make a note of the purchase order number. Ideally, we would have liked to receive an advanced shipping notification and create our inbound deliveries from them. Instead, we do it manually. We create one handling unit for the expected goods. Then we create the delivery and make a note of delivery number 23301. As we can see it has yet not started. Let the action begin. We will now show how you can unload the inbound delivery, post goods receipt, create the put away warehouse task, and even confirm the put away through a handheld RF device. We choose inbound processes, receiving of handling units and receive HU by delivery. We use the reference to our inbound delivery, 23301. We press F1 to get a list of receiving handling units. As expected, there is only one, and we select it by choosing one. Once again, we press F1, this time to confirm unloading. With F2, we perform goods receipt. We create subsequent put away warehouse tasks by pressing F3. Super efficient. Before the party is over, let us take a look at the warehouse monitor. We look up inbound delivery 23301 and can see that the newly created warehouse task is ready to be performed and that the put away location is, as expected, in a hazardous storage type. Back at the handheld device, we confirm the put away task by pressing F4. In addition, we confirm the put away bin location by scanning the bin identifier. In the warehouse monitor, we see that the put away task is complete. On the inbound delivery header, we see that unloading, goods receipt and put away is completed. Mission accomplished. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap some of the benefits of inbound handling of hazardous substances. Secure that hazardous goods are stored according to their storage requirements. 
Ensure that hazardous goods are stored separately from other substances. Secure that security and GXP requirements are met. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.